you might be lagging somewhere in solving this problem which you can't deny follow this video it will immensely help you in getting the solution and here is the problem from multiple integrals and we have to evaluate the triple integral of integral 0 to 1 and this is integral 0 to 1 minus z and this is integral 0 to 1 minus y minus z x y z this is dx dy dz so first of all we have to integrate with respect to x so first of all we have to consider that these are the, uh, x limits so I am going to integrate with respect to x first of all. That is integral 0 to 1. This is integral 0 to 1 minus z. This is yz and for x the integration will be x square by 2 into what remains here? dy dz remains and the limits are from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to 1 minus y minus z. Now I am going to substitute the x limits here. That is integral 0 to 1. This is integral 0 to 1 minus z. This is x, y and this will be so 1 minus y minus z whole square by 2 into dy dz. So if you observe this one, what happens here? So this will be integral 0 to 1. This is integral 0 to 1 minus z. This is y minus z and this can be written as 1 minus z minus y this is whole square by 2 into dy into dz. I am sending this 2 outside here. If I send this out 2 outside, this will be half times of this is 0 to 1. And this is 0 to 1 minus z. And if I expand this one, this will be yz into this is a square. So this is a square and this is b square minus 2a into this is b into dy into dz so if you observe this one so now we have to multiply each and everything here so this will be half times of integral 0 to 1 this is z i am bringing it outside into dz and this is integral 0 to 1 minus z if i multiply each term each term with y this will be y into y square this will be y cube minus 2 y square into 1 minus z into 1 minus z into dy now i am going to integrate with respect to y this time so this will be half times of this is 0 to 1 z dz and this is 0 to 1 minus z and this will be 1 minus z whole square and if you observe this one, for y, the integration will be y square by 2 plus and for y cube, so the y cube, it will be y power 4 by 4 and this is minus 2, 1 minus z into, again for y square, this will be y cube by 3 and what remains here, so this is already, there is dz and between the limits, this is 0 to, this is 1 minus z, 0 to, this is 1 minus z. And here also, this one, the limits are 0, 2. So, 0, 2, this is 1 minus z. So, if I substitute each and every limit here, then see what, what happens here. So, this will be half times of, so this is half times of integral 0 to 1, z dz. And here, after substituting, so I have substituted these limits and there is no need of this integral and these are our y limits and after substituting, so we have to substitute here. So this will be 1 minus z whole square and here if I substitute this will be 1 minus z whole square by 2 plus this is 1 minus z whole power 4 by 4 minus 2 times of this is 1 minus z and this is 1 minus z whole cube by 3 into this is dz. So if I again multiply this one, so this will be half times of 0 to 1, this is z into. So if I multiply this one, this is 1 minus z whole power 4 by 2 and this is 1 minus z whole power 4 by 4 and this will be 2 into this is 1 minus z whole power 4, power 1, power 3 power 4 and this is by 3 into dz. So if I take this as LCM, this is half times of 0 to 1 z 
1 minus z whole power 4 if I take LCM this will be 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 minus 2 by 3 into this is dz. So half times of this is 0 to 1 z times of 1 minus z whole power 4. So if I take LCM here so this will be 4 3 this is 12 if I take 12 as LCM this will be 6 plus in 4 table 12 this comes with 3 minus this is 4 2 is 8 into this is dz. So this is equal to the half times of 0 to 1 z into 1 minus z whole power 4 this is 9 minus 8 9 minus 8 by 12 into this is dz. So which is equal to this is half times of 0 to 1 z into this is 1 minus z whole power 4 into this is 1 by 12 into dz. If I send this 12 to other side this will be 1 by 2 into 12 this is 0 to 1 z into 1 minus z power 4 into this is dz. So this is 1 by 24 times of 0 to 1 this is z times of so this can be written as 1 minus z whole square whole square into dz so which is equal to 1 by 24 times of this is 0 to 1 this is z into if i expand this in the form of a minus b whole square this will be a square plus b square minus 2ab whole square into dz so again if i expand this in the form of a plus b minus c whole square so this will be 1 by 24 times of 0 to 1 this is a square this will be b square and this is a c square that is 4z square and this is plus that is 2z square 2ab that is minus 4 this is z cube and this will be minus 4z so if you see this is a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab 2z square and here it is minus minus in 2 into 2 this is 4 z into z square is z cube and here if I multiply these two, then this will be minus 4z into dz. So, if I multiply each and every term with z, then see what happens. This is 1 by 24 times of this is 0 to 1. This is z plus z power 5 plus 4z cube plus this is 2z cube. This is 2z cube minus 4z power 4 minus 4z square into dz. So, these are two like terms here that is 4z cube and 2z cube. If I add up those two then see what remains here. So, here this will be here it will be 1 by 24 times of 0 to 1. So, this is z power 5 and this will be minus 4 into z power 4 plus 6 into z cube minus 4z square plus z into dz so 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so finished so now i have to integrate with respect to z so this is 1 by 24 times of for z cube this will be z power 6 by 6 minus 4 into z power 4 will be z power 5 by 5 plus 6 into this is z power 4 by 4 minus 4 z cube by 3 and this will be z square by 2 between the limits here z is equal to 0 to z is equal to this is 1. So this will be 1 by 24 times of this is 1 by 6 minus 4 by 5 plus 6 by 4 minus 4 by 3 plus again this is 1 by 2. So if you can see so I can cancel this in the two table and this will be 3 by 2 and uh, this will be 1 by 24 into this is 1 by 6 and uh, this is minus 4 by 3 and this one is minus 4 by 5 plus 3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 so this is 4 by 2 which is equal to 2 so if I take LCM for 6 3 5 and 2 and this will be for 3 3 and 5 1 and if I take with if I go with 3 1 1 5 and again 5 1 1 1 so this is uh, 1 by 24 into so the LCM is this is 30 so if I go with 30 this is 5 minus 
this is 40 minus 6 4 is so 24 and this is 15 this will be 45 and this will be 15 so if you observe this one this is 1 by 24 times of this is 9 minus 69 and this will be 10 60 by this is 30 so this will be this will be minus 9 into 24 into 30. If you observe this one here, 45 plus 15 and again there is 5 here. This will be 15. This is 65 plus 65 minus 64. So here if you see, this is plus 55 minus 64 and this will be plus 1. So the answer will be 1 by 720. This is our final answer. Therefore, we got the answer for this question is. So, this is 1 by 720 is the answer. So, first of all, you see, these are our x limits. So, which are in terms of y and z, these are our x limits. First, we have to integrate with respect to x. So, if I substitute the limit here, so, I can write this in the form of a minus b whole square. So, this was expanded as a square plus b square minus 2ab. So, I have kept this z aside and this one. So, I made to multiply with y. So, this is y into 1 minus z whole square. This is y cube and this is minus 2y square. Now, I have integrated with respect to y and substituted the limits here. And after substituting the limits here, and I have taken common this one, 1 minus z power 4. So, this is of this fraction and I got this as 1 by 12. So, keeping 1 by 12 also aside and this will be 1 by 24 and this is, this can be written as power 4 can be written as a square into square. And this is a minus b whole square and this is a plus b minus c whole square. And after expanding this one, and after expanding this one, each and every term I multiplied with z. So, now I have integrated with respect to z. For z power 5 is z power 6 by 6. That is z power 4 is z power 5 by 5. z cube is z power 4 by 4 and so on. And between the limits 0 to 1 after substituting and calculating. So, 30 I got as LCM. And these are the negative sign and these are the positive sign. So, this is 65 minus 64. I got this answer as 1 by 720. And this is how we have to solve. And uh, meet you in my next video coming up very soon. I will keep bringing up these videos for you. Stay corrected. And really, if you like this video, please raise your thumb, pass it on and practice well. Thank you so much.